Thursday and it's only 72 degrees up here on the mountain. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, we're expecting another one tomorrow and Saturday as well. It uh, will be in the low 70s and uh, down in the real cool sleeping nights in the 60s uh, on the, the next three or four nights. Do you ever face an impossible situation? Do you ever sit and say, wonder what God is up to? Uh, what is going on? Well, it had to have been like that for Joshua. After he crossed over the Jordan, when God backed up the waters, the first thing he was confronted with was Jericho. There was no way of taking the promised land without going through Jericho. It was, it was an impenetrable city from the standpoint of military uh, uh, devices. You see, it had not one, but two walls, maybe three, depending on how you want to look at the construction. The walls were high. They were 17 feet or more. There was a 24 foot trench or 27 foot trench, nine feet deep between the walls. Uh, there was a sloped terrace between the walls. Uh, any enemy that attacked the city would have to go over the top of one wall, go down into a trench, go try to go back over the top of another wall. Meanwhile, the people of Jericho could just hurl everything and, and uh, shoot everything that they wanted to while the enemy was totally exposed. And once you went over that first wall, there was no turning back because if you turned your back, they were going to get you for sure. So Joshua had crossed over the Jordan. And now he had to go through Jericho. What was God's battle plan? You won't believe it. I mean, it sounds so fictitious that you just wouldn't believe God's battle plan. You find it in Joshua chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. God said, I want you to uh, go ahead and march around the city. Now, the city was about nine acres. That included the walls of protection, six inner city acres. March around that entire city and have the priests blowing their trumpets. But be dead still. Don't talk. Don't shout. Just dead still. March all around the city. And, and I want you to send your armed men out ahead of the ark. And then some infantry men at the back of the uh, uh, procession. But I don't want them to fight. I just want them to march. I want you to do that not one day, but I want you to do that for six days. Just march around the city blowing the trumpets. Seven trumpets, seven priests, the Ark of the Covenant, and your military. Now Jericho, it says in chapter 6, verses 1 through 2, was tightly shut up. It was right after the harvest. They had plenty of food. There was spring water inside the city. They could last for a long time, even in the strongest of sieges. But God's battle plan wasn't just to march around the city six times. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times. And this time, when the priests would blow the horns or the trumpets, a loud blast, Joshua would haul, call for all of the people to shout out. And he told the people, because the Lord has given us this city. And when you shout out, the walls of the city are going to fall flat. Now these were five foot thick walls, some 12 to 17 feet high. And just at the shout of Israel's army, they were going to fall flat. And then the men of Israel were to go right through the breach in the walls and take the city. Everybody scoffed. Everybody laughed at the fact that the Bible would record such a battle. Everybody said, 
that's just a story. Until archaeologists in the late 1800s and the early 1900s found a city they didn't think even existed during the days of Joshua. <laughs> just exactly where the Bible said Jericho would be. Not only that, but they found the city walls just exactly as the Bible described them. <laughs> That's not enough. You see, it says that Joshua burned the city. They found that the city had been burned. God works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? Strange ways. So the next time you come across a difficult situation, or you wonder what in the world God is up to, remember the city of Jericho. It says that the enemy was terrified. It says the kings had fled to the west. The Canaanites were down by the sea. The Amorites were beyond the Jordan to the west. And the people of Jericho and all of those kings were fearful because they had heard of what God had done for the Israelites crossing the Jordan. And now, in just seven days, the great city of Jericho would fall flat without the Israelites picking up the first battering ram and take the city with ease. My friends, if you love God, he loves you. And if you're in a difficult situation, he may not use a standard battle plan, but he can make your enemy fear and he can make the way clear and easy. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.